Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video right here, I'm going to be showing you a free alternative to the Photoshop generative fill. With that being said, what we'll be taking a look at today is called clipdrop.co by stability.ai, which is stable diffusion. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this mid journey image that I generated and use uncrop to pretty much extend the image a little bit. So, so I'm going to save this image, just call it image one. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to the website and we're just going to drag and drop this there. And as you can see right here, I can extend it to make it a little bit more wider. So this looks good right here. I just want to extend it and make it wider. I'm going to say next, and this is going to use AI magic. Okay, so we're going to wait here. It doesn't take long, so I'm just going to wait for it real time. All right, so here's one already. It's giving me some variations. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. Third one. And the fourth one. I actually like, I believe, between these two. I think this one is the one that looks more natural. And again, what's crazy about it is it's taking the patterns and it's creating its own. Because if you look at this pattern right here, and I guess I can make this a little bit bigger for you. So it's pretty much taking this pattern right here and making its own. So it actually looks like, yeah, I mean, lighting-wise, shadow-wise pattern wise and object wise it looks like it fits in the scene this is pretty darn incredible and to think that this is just a baby technology it's going to improve even more so later down the road now i'm using this right now a lot with steam because whenever you make a game and try to upload it in steam it's going to make you upload 110 different sizes and images for your steam game um so whenever i have something that's not quite right as far as the resolution goes i would just go in here and just extend it and stuff like that so that's one use case that i'm using it right now which again that's why i use ai tools is to help me out and this right here you can probably already think about stuff that you're going to use it with um but we'll take a look at another example that i generated just now um we just did a portrait of an attractive girl standing near an iceland water okay i love iceland uh so i have these images right here again these none of these girls are real I want to go ahead and try and replicate this one right here on the third. So it's one, two, three. We will upscale the third version. I try to do an Egyptian girl, but I don't think there's just so much depth of field right here that it doesn't have enough information for you to work with. So I chose something that, you know, you can see that these are all cliffs and you can see that that's a waterfall. Iceland, Jiceland, whatever. And I'm going to go back. All right, so let's go back and let's now drag and drop the Iceland girl, okay? So that's already good. And again, I just want it to be like 16 by 9. And this is more for like a realistic photo. If you were to take a photo, you know, people nowadays, they take photos, you know, like portrait mode. This is so interesting. This is crazy interesting. Now, the first one rendered the grass and moss a little funny like it rendered it like fur but if i look at some different variation this one is not good because i can see i can see the seam right so we can keep going i mean this one actually looks pretty darn decent like that has the best looking seam and again i can just go in later or paint it but with one click, man, you can use this to, again, extend your image, which is so freaking cool. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Just a free alternative to the Photoshop Gen AI feel that's going viral right now because it is super helpful and super amazing. Let me know what you think about this tool right here, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.